Hello, uh, welcome to Jenkins Online Meetup. Today is uh, July uh, 20th and we will have a, a pipeline with YAML plugin introduction by Tunj uh, Beckman on the call. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, this uh, one uh, webinar, uh, we will mostly focus on uh, demos and after that uh, we will have a, a long Q&A session. And if you're interested to know more or to discuss something uh, after the meetup, you can stay online. We will grant everyone uh, voice permissions and we will be able uh, to have uh, more discussion. Uh, could you please uh, switch to the next slide? Okay, uh, just to quickly introduce uh, Jenkins Online Meetup. Uh, this is a community driven uh, event. Basically, we organize uh, meetup uh, to speak about uh, various aspects of Jenkins, including using Jenkins, developing Jenkins. We focus mostly on various key studies, success stories, and we invite everyone to participate uh, during this meetup. So please uh, use Kone to ask questions um, and uh, uh, please uh, share your feedback because one of the main goals for these meetups is to actually get uh, your opinion and uh, your inputs about uh, how uh, we could improve, um, uh, for example, in this case, uh, pipeline as YAM plugin or how we can improve Jenkins in general. And we will appreciate uh, all your participation uh, in this meetup. Uh, again, uh, the main focus uh, is to do hands-on demos uh, today. So the uh, stay tuned for a lot of uh, live presentations. And we are always uh, looking for speakers. So if you want to present something about Jenkins, um, there is a link, uh, Jenkins uh, slash events online meetup speaking. And uh, if you want to share anything uh, about your use cases or about your plugins, uh, please, uh, you're welcome to do so. Thanks to our sponsors, Continuous Delivery uh, Foundation and CloudBees. Uh, they help us uh, to run the infrastructure and uh, uh, cover the uh, costs uh, for running this meetup. And I guess that's it from me. So, Atunj, uh, yeah. the floor uh, is yours. Thank you very much for the introduction. So, uh, thank you all for joining this session. I am Atunj Pekan. So, I have been working as a DevOps engineer and also I have been using Jenkins for the last 10 years. So I can say that I am a DevOps and Jenkins enthusiastic. Uh, you can just uh, contact me if you need uh, about the uh, details of the plugin from these uh, social medias. So uh, during the meetup, you can always ask your questions with the Zoom Q&A session. And also after the meetup, you can check the pipeline authoring, authoring SIG uh, website for, uh, for like, uh, weekly events and also decisions on the pipelines and also after the session you can use this feedback form uh, to provide your feedback for the session it will be appreciated so today is uh, i'm going to introduce uh, the the pipeline is yaml plugin today so our agenda is that i'm going to provide some details how it works uh, completed features and the planned features for the future. And also I'm going to switch to a hands-on tutorial with uh, some of the practices that we can, or you can use your, in your pipelines. So, uh, pipeline is YAML. Uh, there's one important situation that currently this plugin is in the incubation stage. So what does it mean? Uh, the changes on this plugin may vary in time or can affect the usage of the uh, plugin. So that's why we always encourage people to use this plugin in uh, not in mission critical or production like environments, but mostly uh, please use it in like development or staging environments for that uh, we do not want to affect anyone uh, pipelines or working environments. So uh, pipeline is uh, enables defining Jenkins pipelines in YAML format. YAML is a very well known format in these days. So this plugin can be used in multi-branch pipeline jobs. And also it can be used in the pipeline job as a SCM uh, or in a script in the editor itself. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate how it will be used. Also from the link, you can reach to the website of the plugin itself. So how it works, uh, plugin converts YAML definitions into declarative pipeline format in the runtime. Uh, to provide more details, conversion happens after you 
check out the uh, YAML definition from SCM and it converts to the declarative format and it injects into the flow of execution before running the pipeline itself. So you can think this plugin as a uh, runtime converter of uh, YAML definitions into the declarative pipeline formats. Uh, this is of course uh, also same in the when you define your pipeline in the editor. So it is uh, again converted into declarative pipeline format in the runtime itself. Uh, completed features. So until the latest release, uh, declarative pipeline directives that are listed below is completed, which means that you can use this uh, directives in the pipeline as YAML plugin. And also uh, in the other concept, there is a converter for converting pipeline as YAML definitions into declarative pipeline, and also validating these converted declarative pipelines. Uh, the reason behind this conversion is to uh, provide some um, Peer validation before going for the real implementation of the pipeline as YAML. So you can easily convert your YAML definitions, take that to pipeline and see how it's going to be worked in the real pipeline runtime. So uh, this conversion helps us to uh, use all the predefined steps or directives in the plugin itself. So for other plugin developers or the, for all the other custom steps, you do not need to define something special in your plugin. So every step is defined on the pipeline syntax helper page, which I'm going to show that, uh, can be used in the plugin itself. Plan features for the future. So uh, currently only metrics directive is not supported yet, but it is in the plan, so probably in the few uh, next releases, we are going to support it. And also another plan feature is that converted from declarative pipeline to pipeline as YAML. Uh, so I believe this will be uh, so helpful for the people who wants to use the pipeline as YAML with their current uh, declarative pipeline. So it can be easily converted to YAML format. And also I'm planning to uh, develop some IntelliJ IDEA plugins which will make it more uh, useful for the defining pipeline specific attributes and keys in the IntelliJ itself. I think if I could uh, jump in real quick, this is yeah. Liam. Um, so the uh, plugin for the IntelliJ sounds awesome. The question I have here is about matrix. Why, why is it not uh, in yet? Just kind of what was, uh, if you're going to talk about that, that's cool. I just wanted, was wondering if that's a, uh, so, uh, especially the reason is that I never use metrics. So first I need to use it in the deck ah. pipeline to understand well. Uh, sure. Because, uh, I had no experience with the metrics usage in the deck pipeline. Okay. So that's why I didn't do it yet. But I think, of course, as Oleg mentioned previously, uh, all contributions are welcome. So if you have some uh, experience with the metrics, deck data pipelines, you can always contribute to this plugin also. Just, I, I was just wondering, Matrix is also the most recent edition, so it's kind of, I would yeah. understand why it wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't have exposure to it yet, so. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, uh, so I'm going to switch from the hands-on tutorials. Uh, before that, if you have some questions, you can ask. Uh, what I'm going to on the hands-on tutorials is that basic pipeline, uh, usage of environment variables, options, or agent definitions. And also I'm going to show some complex stages like inner and parallel stages, and also some steps and scripts examples. I also defined a Hello World repository uh, in the below link. So you can always visit this repository and see the uh, all included pipeline tutorial in that repository. So uh, you can always reference that. So I, yeah, there is one question from the channel on, about uh, what the motivations are for using YAML. Before we move on to the demos, just um, what are the benefits oh. and motivations for using uh, YAML as opposed to just declarative pipeline as it exists in Groovy? Yeah, of course, like, I mean, uh, I just like the YAML definition because you just uh, wrote, uh, how can I say, 
less. And also like YAML definitions are very widely used in the DevOps world. So I believe uh, it will be much more easier for everyone to understand the YAML definitions because declarative syntax has its own declarative format. Uh, but of course it is optional. So I just love YAML, what can I say? So familiarity you're saying, it, 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 at least in one sense, it's familiar, familiarity for people that are already in this world yeah. Uh, using YAML. Yeah, definitely. I mean, okay. is there any application that do not support YAML in DevOps world? Apparently just Jenkins, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only Jenkins. Uh, okay, yeah. We still use Coffin and other things in other okay. CICD platforms. Okay. But actually it's a good uh, time uh, to launch the poll because we would like to get feedback from audience about uh, what uh, languages would you prefer to use. Mm. And yeah, while uh, the poll runs, we can actually start switching to demos part. Yeah, sure. Again, uh, if you have questions, uh, please uh, don't hesitate to ask in uh, Zoom Q&A. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe we could answer a couple of more before, before we switch to demos. Okay, so the first one is about contributing. Is the open source, uh, is the plugin open source so that people can contribute to the project? If so, how to do that? Yeah, of course, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, so like, of course, this is like uh, open source plugin. So everyone can easily contribute on it. Also, you can create issues on the uh, Python as YAML plugin GitHub page. Uh, so every feedback is appreciated. Also, uh, we will be so glad if you can also provide your usage feedbacks because we try to keep it as much as useful for everyone. So feel free to ask your questions or create issues or contribute. And uh, there was one other issue and it's a little bit of a, a, a detailed question, but when you go to replay a build uh, when mm -hmm. you're using a YAML pipeline, uh, does it show YAML or does it show the transform declarative uh, groovy version of the pipeline? Wow, that's a good question. I never checked that. I oh, we haven't checked it. Okay, good. Yeah. So that's, that's, a, that's a feature to go take a look at. All right. Yeah, I need to note it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep I'll keep track for you. Go ahead. Okay, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to switch to hands-on experience. Uh, sorry, tutorials. So, uh, okay, so I have just uh, started an uh, Jenkins instance, and I also installed the pipeline XML plugin into my Jenkins itself. So what I'm going to show today, I'm going to start using the. Oops, sorry. Uh, let's say tutorial one, and I'm going to start using with the pipeline job. So after a few examples, I'm going to show or demonstrate how to, you can just define in the multi branch. So that will be easy. Uh, okay, so when you install the plugin and when you uh, create your pipeline job, you will see that there's a definition. Of course, you can use the pipeline script or script from SCM as usual, but there are two other options which is pipeline as YAML and the other one is pipeline as YAML from SCM. So pipeline as YAML from SCM is similar to what we had have before, pipeline script from SCM. So you can define your uh, any type of uh, SCM repository and you can just provide the path of the Jenkins file dot YAML and you can use it. But for the easiness of the uh, usage, I'm going to use the script panel for today's tutorial. So uh, just I want to start with uh, some simple uh, definition of uh, checking out the code from the repository and do maybe some steps. So what we do is that we just define our pipeline, then we use this uh, YAML syntax, then we need to define of course agent. Uh, sorry, uh, I forgot to mention. So it's a quite important. Uh, if you visit the web page of the plugin, you will see uh, one example of each directive in the readme page. But also you can just easily go to the links and see all the different variations of the uh, implementations. For example, if you want to go to, if you want to see the other implementations of agent definitions, you can easily go to the link and you can check the different variations of agent definition. 
So all these files are in, stored in the test resources directory. Uh, so uh, also, for example, we, I'm going to demonstrate environment options and other different directories. So let's do together. So I'm going to use this agent any definition. So it is similar to direct uh, declarative syntax, which we define agent as any. So I'm going to use any definition. Uh, after I defined my agent, I'm going to define my stages. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use <coughs> Uh, stages key and then I'm going to define my stage let's say checkout so for the stages also as I said you can just check here and see all the different kind of stage definitions uh, I try to implement every possible scenario of these stages so you can easily find I think what you're looking for so uh, let's use the pipeline syntax, which I want, which I mentioned before. So using the current steps is possible in the pipeline as YAML. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the checkout command and I'm going to, sorry, where is mine? Not this one, not this one. Ah, this one, okay. So I'm going to check out my code. Yep, I'm going to check the master, everything is fine. So what I'm not going to do is that I'm going to copy this step. Then I'm going to define as a step under here. So what I'm going to do is that I need to define my steps. Steps definition are used as arrays. So you can easily define every step by defining as its YAML array. So. I defined my steps and just I wrote my git checkout step in here. So I'm going to apply and I'm going to run it. So the expected behavior is to check out the repository. Let's run it. Check the console. And it's success. So we just did our first check out with the pipeline as well. So oh, quick, quick question, sorry to jump in. Usually in declarative, the, the checkout just uh, is part of uh, the, the stage. Is that is that not the case in general for this or? Yeah. Oh, excuse indeed. me, the way we know that's, on, that's only in multi-branch pipelines. My bad, yeah. my bad. <laughs> no <laughs> I always problem, forget. No, no, no. Continue, also, continue, I, sorry. I'm going to show that, no problem. Yeah, of course. So I'm going to define my second stage which will be something, uh, uh, I want to build my code, so I'm going to define my step again, and I'm going to run sh maven clean install. Also, sh another step defined in pipeline syntax. So as you can see, you can use the every step here. Let's see. So let's run our job. Murphy. Oh. oh, yeah, I forgot to use the mail, of course. So that's a good example. So uh, what I need, I need to get the tool Maven. So before uh, the presentation, I prepared my uh, Maven tool installation so i need to check the name of it so let's see yeah i have a maven installation here called default so what i am going to do is that is in the declarative pipeline i need to get my tool as defined in declarative so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to use tools and the tool section i can easily define my uh, tools section. Uh, so, but before that, I want to also show something. So, if you are not sure about the declaration of the tool, you can just easily go to the pipeline syntax helper and you can just get your Maven. Yeah, that's it, Maven and default. So, what we are going to do, we are going to convert it into the YAML format. Oops, 
Okay, so it should work. So it finished successfully. So it was just a hello world application. Uh, okay, so I, uh, next is the next uh, example. I can demonstrate the inner stages. So what we can do is that normally we just uh, divide the stages into some sub stages. So what we can do is that maybe uh, build and test or let's say, let's say Maven. So I'm going to delete this section and I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to define sub stages in our stage. So especially it is very similar to declarative usage and also as I mentioned before, you can easily see all the usages in here. So this is the example for using inner stages. So under my stage definition, I also uh, again defined stages and after that I'm going to define my other sub, uh, sub stage, which will be built. Then I'm going to write this script or step as a script. So also you can always use the similar script tag, which is uh, similar in the declarative pipeline. So I can just easily write maven clean compile. Uh, and also I would like to show one example about this. So if you want to write some more complicated uh, steps or scripts, what you can do is that you can use this script multiline when you can just easily write your glue scripts here. So that's another way of usage. So, uh, okay, I will compile my code and then I'm going to define another stage, which will be test. I'm going to use it as a step stage maven test. I hope I didn't, oh, sorry. So let's go for it. Uh, when you check the pipeline, uh, Flow, of course, you cannot see, but if you are using the uh, Blue Ocean plugin, you can easily see that this build and test is the sub stages of the Maven. Uh, let me check my examples. Okay, just a second. Okay, so I can, like to, if I could yeah. come in for just a second. Can you make it the, the font just a little larger? Just do a command plus or uh, something to just yeah, a tiny bit. There, yeah, cool. Yeah, That's great. Okay. Just a little bit larger would be great. Thanks. Maybe. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah. No, thank you. Stay so, tuned for the sorry. Uh, I'm going. I want to demonstrate the options or the maybe the environment uh, definitions in the pipeline declarative. So, what we can do is that, of course, we can just set some options for our jobs, which also can be found here in the declarative directive generator. So, what I'm going to do, I just want to uh, set this job as disable concurrent builds. So you can use any definitions here. So I'm going, just going to demonstrate this one, which will be just simple. So I click and I generated my declarative. So what we need to do is to convert this into YAML format. So I'm just copying this function here. Then I'm going to define here options. Disable content fields. So you can always define other options under the options key with uh, YAML array list. And also you can find the other options definitions here. So yeah, I just want to disable the content fields. So I'm going to apply it. I'm going to run it. Yeah, it's quite big. So it's running, everything seems fine. So I'm going to check if it is set or not. And yes, so it is not allowed to run concurrent builds. Okay, that's cool. Uh, so what I can do, I can just get some maybe credentials and pass it to my 
uh, Maven command or something else. So like you can just think about as a deployment to somewhere else. So my examples maybe won't make sense now, but it is all about uh, showing the usage. So uh, I need to, uh, sorry, oops. So before the presentation, ah, could this go up? So before the presentation, I just created my credentials here. So, so you can go to my credentials. So assume that you defined some credentials or yes, so you have some credentials to use. So yeah, my custom credentials is just basic username and password credentials. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use it. Uh, of course, anytime we can just get the help from the pipeline syntax. So, oops, sorry. sorry. Okay, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to use with credentials step to use or get the credentials from the credential store. So I'm going to username, password, and yeah, this credentials, so journey. So the trick about is here that you need to use this uh, part between the commas. So what I'm going to do is that I just want to use my credentials. So I will come here with credentials. I will pass it. Yep. And then I'm going to uh, pass these credentials as usual to my Maven command. So I know there is no need for that, but I just want to demonstrate it. So assume that you are passing some username and password parameters for compiling or testing or deploying your artifact into somewhere else. So let's run it again. Oh, I made a mistake. Sorry. Hmm, okay, let me check. Using password. Yeah. Oh, sorry, my bad. Forget the define steps. So, uh, as you will remember, the in the declarative syntax of uh, pipeline, when you use the with credential step, you need to open a code block. So for that to be implemented, we need to write here script and we need to define our sh command here. So then clean, compile, username. I'm just going to use the username. Okay. so. So you will see that uh, this parameter is passed as a secret into the my command. Also, uh, another similar uh, step which we can use or mostly use is that uh, with EMV section. So what I can do is that I can just easily use with EMV. So to be sure, I'm going to use the environment variable definitions. So maybe I can do something like that. Oh, like let's get all yeah. okay so what I'm going to do I'm just going to take this part is again and I'm going to define it in my pipeline so with EMV yes okay let me check Again, I need to define its own scripts part to make it run. So, so a question there for you. Do those, yeah. does that need to be script or can it just be steps? 
Uh, it needs to be secret because, uh, as I remember, in these step definitions, the code block accepts also Groovy syntax or Groovy language. So that's why I implement it as a secret. But of course, we can always change the step. But I believe secret will make more sense, which I thought. Okay. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to run it. Let's see. Oh, what? I oh, couldn't resolve. Okay, no problem. We can just. Yeah. Okay, so for next tutorial, I can show you the um, maybe parameters part, or let's define it when. Yeah. Uh, so, as uh, you mentioned before, sure, let me just jump in here for just a second. I've, we, we had one of the, at least one of the question um, related to the, the you're using the script, uh, the declarative uh, directive generator, and the, uh, the the snippet generator. Is uh, is there some plan to make this uh, generate YAML as well, or is uh, is that yes? Okay, so that's that's on the list somewhere, at least is something you'd like to do. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm planning to do that, but uh, it's just a little bit uh, blue part for me. I don't know how to uh, generate this, so probably it will be yeah. just in the next, next, next releases. Sure. I don't know when, but of course it will be very useful because I know that this kind of conversion is not very user friendly. Okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah, welcome. Uh, so, okay, I'm just going to remove part this, so I don't want to get others. Okay, so I just want to demonstrate on the, also the run definitions. So let's go to the, our pipeline page. And you can see that we can always define the run definitions in the, under the stage, like in, in the declarative pipeline. So I just want to use it in here. Let's make another stage. Yeah, so let's do deploy run um, branch master. And also, I would like to do something steps. I don't know, maybe deploy to somewhere. So I'm going to demonstrate. Okay, so now when I run it, this will be skipped because we are not using the multi-branch pipeline, but this is a demonstration how to use the run conditions in the pipeline itself, but uh, I'm going to also demonstrate how to define this in the uh, multi-branch pipeline. So yeah, you will see that this stage deploy is skipped to the run condition. So that's another usage uh, for it. And also we can just define some other environment variables uh, which is quite similar to other declarative definitions. So I'm going to define some environment arrival. Uh, let's say that uh, my server and um, look host. So I just want to like, I don't know, show my my server. Okay, so as still we didn't see the change on the deploy section, but we are going to see it in a minute. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, commit this, or maybe I can just use the, the one that I already defined in the repository. So in the tutorial repository, there's a pipeline directory. So there is two different uh, Jenkins file YAMLs. So one of them is about a very similar usage of the things that I showed before. You can just reference these usages when you always uh, want to see some examples. Uh, and also there is another Jenkins file definition in the multi-branch part, which I want to demonstrate it. So uh, as you said before, so 
in this uh, YAML file, as you see, we don't have any Git checkout sections because multiple branch pipeline will do it itself. And also in the multiple branch pipeline, we are going to use this run condition and we will see that this deploy stage will be run. So I just want to get my code repository. So I'm going to define a new job. Let's say module two, it will be multiple branch job. Sorry. Git. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this goes all the branches. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to search, select the Jenkins file as YAML and I'm going to provide the path of the Jenkins YAML file. So it will be pipelines, multi-branch and Jenkins file YAML. That, yeah. I'm going to save it. So it's going to find the branches. Yes, we found the file. So when you go back to your job, you can see that master is already start working and we will see the logs. At the end of this job, we are also going to see the deploy section is running. So it is all about the run condition, so yes. As we can see from here, sorry, also the deploy section is working. Uh, maybe just one, just one last example. Uh, so the usage is also same in the pipeline itself. So you can just easily configure your pipeline from the pipeline as you from SCM, which is very similar to multi-branch. Um, so you can use it. And, and also, that would get you the automatic checkout and some of the other behaviors that you get there, right? Yeah, definitely. And also one last thing I want to show that is the converter part. So you can just go to the pipeline syntax and you will see the uh, pipeline is YAML converter. So as I said, uh, currently it is working one direction. So it converts pipeline is YAML into the declarative format. So if you just paste your YAML definition, you will get the declarative definition of your pipeline. So if you are not sure of the, some definitions in your YAML, you can just easily check it from here and see if it's going to make sense or not. And also after uh, defining your declarative, or sorry, after converting your pipeline, you can just validate it and very detailed uh, response. So for that, <laughs> it's valid. So. This is just for like preventing errors before running the pipeline. So, and as I said, in the future implementations, I'm going to implement the bidirectional way of the conversion. So, uh, very cool, very cool. I, I think I demonstrated lots of things I mentioned. Uh, as I said, uh, you can always find more and more and more details about the usage in the pipeline as YAML plugin web page. And also I'm going to keep this repository also for reference. So you can just easily uh, check the CML definitions for your requirements. So that's all from my side. Uh, thank you for all listening to me. And also I'm happy to answer your questions. Great, yeah, we've got uh, quite a number of them. So mm -hmm. Lim, uh, would you like uh, to drive the comment? Uh, I, can, I can at least do some of that. Um, let's see here. So, the, uh, no, go ahead, keep it for now. We'll, okay. We might need to show some things. Uh, if you want to sli switch back to the slides, um, if you have links there for uh, the the uh, example, uh, yes, yeah, that'd be it. great to have that up there while we talk for a minute. Um, so, the, there was a question, first off, every, I'm sure everyone's very excited about this. Uh, when will this plugin be ready for, for production? Uh, thank you. Uh, so we are working for hard for that. Uh, we are going to do some maybe major changes in the next weeks, but I believe uh, also it depends on the Jenkins community itself. Uh, I believe it will be online in maybe one month or two months. I don't know, but we will trying to do it as much as fast. Basically, 
this is a volunteer organization, right? So it depends on how much participation we get, right? Yeah, yeah. And also like we are, we will be very help, uh, grateful if someone also can help us contributing to the, change, to the plugin and like applying changes with us. So that will be also great. Great, okay. Um, the other question, uh, at least uh, one of the other question was, um, let's see here, Do you, is there any performance difference for using YAML that you've, that you've been able to measure? Uh, I haven't experienced any problems about the performance itself, but I didn't do any performance tests. Okay. So I believe we won't have any performance issues because the conversion is really quite uh, simple. So it is just about passing YAML and converting into declarative. But it's a nice question. I will do some performance checks and try to find out some values. Okay. So, okay, good, good, good. What about, um, so you showed um, uh, the agent any there. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you all, I'm, I'm assuming also that, that Docker, Docker agents and yeah. such are supported, whatever the, the usual agent uh, blocks yes, are. Yes, definitely. Yeah, also let me show it please here. So if you check the, the page of the plugin, you will see that there are different definitions of agents. So. In the current uh, release, we have the agent Docker and Docker file implementations. So you can just easily define your Docker using mm -hmm. the uh, keys necessary for defining this Docker image usage. And also you can just use the uh, Docker file also. And mm -hmm. also other default usages like label, node, and none is also possible. Mm -hmm. There's one related question in the list about Kubernetes plugin, because Kubernetes plugin is famous for its complex configuration. So mm. why yes. it would be supported? Uh, let's add it into the plan features stuff. Yeah, of course. Okay. So yeah, I have sure. another thing to add for the feedback. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah. It was um, mentioning that uh, Kubernetes plugin will work as this if you define a test cloud configuration right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the only problem is uh, this uh, more complicated definition when you define container and uh, basically put uh, YAML configuration right inside configuration. So it would be YAML in YAML. And uh, oh. yeah, I don't think that uh, um, the current syntax parser would support it correctly. Well, you can post, put YAML as string, but it has a lot of limitations. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> I don't know how to implement, but I will check it definitely. Okay. Uh, does this does does uh, does this uh, do the, the YAML uh, pipelines work with uh, configuration as code? Uh, uh, yes. So if you install the pi uh, pipeline as YAML plugin, you can easily use it. But I need to check if there's a special definition. I'm not so much familiar with the configuration as code, but uh, I will check it definitely. Okay, so we need to look at that. All right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, right now it will work well because pipeline as YAML basically has no global configuration. So mm -hmm. you install the plugin and it just works and you can benefit from all uh, features. For example, you can define secrets, you can define agents, clouds, et cetera, using configuration as code and just consume them in YAML. So definitely there is a lot of uh, coexistence between these features and maybe eventually we will be able to uh, put a uh, YAML job configurations uh, right inside JCask. So right now it supports the job they say, but in principle we could put YAML, uh, but yeah, it's an implementation detail. So- Oh, right, yeah, because so you have, you have job DSL in, you can have job DSL inside of there and then define a pipeline inside the job DSL, right? Yes. <laughs> Which is a little, it's a long way around to it, but that's, that's what yeah, it's so, going to do. Uh, yeah, I'll paste the link uh, to the chat uh, to what I'm talking about. So there okay. is a way to create seed jobs and to define jobs basically right inside JCAS configuration. Right. And yeah, later when we have uh, pipeline as YAML, it would be great uh, to have support. So that okay. we directly put YAMLs there. So let's see here. Um, underneath the covers though, do you have, um, is there a schema that's like pre-generated for the, the, the YAML? or that someone could go and pull out, or is that something that, uh, that we're still working on? Uh, the, the schema will be available after probably defining the IntelliJ plugin. So I'm just uh, planning to define a schema for the pipeline definition and also use it in the IntelliJ and also use it in the, uh, in the Jenkins itself. Okay, so it's still in progress. All right, yeah, that's good to definitely. know. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, let's see. Da -da -da. 
someone that was asking about whether or not this solves problems with the in, with uh, escaping characters in quotes, and I, I, I would assume that's yeah. not the case. But uh, it's uh, uh, you need to be a little bit careful about that. So mm. maybe I can show something. So okay. So let me just remove some parts. Uh, let me find a good example for that. Just a second. Let me check. Okay. Uh, maybe I can demonstrate something. Oh, okay, with credentials will be fine. Okay. So uh, you need to use uh, double quotes if you are using some steps with uh, spatial YAML syntax, like here, like right. uh, semicolon. So uh, when using these, uh, you need to use this thing double quotes at the beginning and at the end. So that's the only escape that maybe you need to use. And the other parts you can just also use like uh, double quotes if you want to define, but also you can just leave them as alone. But uh, this is the only situation that I experienced. So if you experience any problems with escaping characters, please uh, definitely open an issue and let us check it. Okay. One of the advantages of YAML format is basically you're not limited only to quotes because you have an opportunity to use multi-line syntax yeah. uh, to work around uh, using uh, too many quotes in some cases. Hmm. Yeah, uh, like for example here in the steps definitions, you can just use this multi-line uh, mm -hmm. definition like here. Oh, neat. Okay, very cool. Um, and that's all the questions that I see on the list in, that were uh, that we haven't already answered. So uh, there are a few questions which we could still ask. Were they were they in the um, the chat as opposed to the Q uh, the Q and A no, or questions and answers? So, for example, one of the questions is about can Groovy DSL and YAML definitions uh, coexist in the same folder? Oh, right. Sorry, I I was asking asked them for a clarification of that. I was I was a little unclear about yeah. what that was. So basically, uh, whether it would be possible to put Jenkins file and the YAML definition in the same directory? Yeah, I don't think it will. I don't think uh, it will cause any problems. So yeah, why not? It is just two files. And I guess the, one of the other questions was, was what are the, how does this work with shared libraries? Oh, that's a very good question. So yeah, uh, maybe I can just show the example because we, we may need to define library, uh, but so, okay, here's the library usage. So okay. after you define your library in the Jenkins configuration, you can just easily use this library <laughs> definition in here. And uh, also, you can also check the other definitions here, but the usage is very simple. Just define your library in the beginning of the pipeline. And also, the definition uh, string is very similar or very exactly similar to what we have in the uh, declarative pipeline syntax. So, so you can also easily define two libraries, something else. So it is all up to you. And I noticed that you have the, uh, the, the script uh, directive there as well. Um, and that's it, so that we can call out to, so that you end up using the, the groovy syntax. To yeah, call definitely. Out. Right, okay. Yeah, definitely. So like, uh, maybe I can show it from here. Please give me a moment. So there's a test for it. I think it's here. Yeah. So it is, oops, sorry. Uh, oh. You click job. Yeah, yeah. Not the resources. So, uh, not this. Mm, did you want the resources to show it no. or? No, 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 okay, cool. There are lots of chats. Okay, I don't waste time for that, but. Uh, but it is supported, you, yeah. Yeah, as you said, you can just use your custom steps in the secret definition. Okay. The steps, yeah. All right. Okie dokie. And th th their question, what about uh, variable interpolation? Um, doing dollar sign, curly, curly brackets, et cetera, that, that works fine, right? 
yeah like as i showed in the example so you can just easily use this dollar sign with bracelets so you can just use this uh, variables which you define in the environment or in the input section uh, so you can easily use this okay okay Hmm. Let's see. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah. Now, if there were problems in the in terms of the the interpolation stuff like that, th this wouldn't fix those, though, right? That was what what someone is kind of asking about. Uh, fix what? I I, I, it's probably worth. Uh, this is the like if the if the username there had a dollar sign in it, for example, or something like that, where there's a. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, that's right. There's, there's those are. I, I think you'd end up most likely running into the same issues, right? Where you would, as you would in Groovy. Yeah, yeah definitely. So especially okay. it will it will throw the Groovy exceptions because as I said, like in the conversion part, it just converts into deck that to pipeline. So you will experience the same problem. Okay. In the All right. So this doesn't, this doesn't fix some of, some, if someone's having a difficulty in, in, uh, stating something in declarative, it, this won't necessarily make that, that better. Um, it, uh, no. it, it won't fix that problem for them. No, no. no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's see here. Now, one question we had in the beginning of Meetup is mm -hmm. about uh, the replay feature. Right. So, I think I did ask about that already. We that it's not. We hadn't actually checked it yet, but I, yeah. I put it on the list to, okay. to to that we would definitely want to want to try it out. Yeah. I reported actually, one can we, actually, can you do it right now? Can you just try taking one of the things that you ran and just do a do a, re, uh, a rebuild on it? Yeah. So take one of the jobs down the left, click on the number, and then do uh, what is it? Yeah, replay. Uh, looks like we get declarative. Yeah, we get the declarative. So okay. What uh, would you prefer? So I don't. Well, know. if someone wrote something in YAML, they probably want to see yeah. it in YAML. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, we should. That 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 might be a little bit harder to do, but um, it's an interesting feature. Yeah. Let's see. Let's yeah. Check. Okay. Uh, there are some limitations with that. I reported the bug on uh, Sunday uh, because I hit uh, regression and uh, Jenkins file runner when I was uh, implementing pipeline as YAML support. Mm. So there might be some issues with extension points between replay and pipeline as YAML. Mm. Um, mm. It's yet to be seen. Right. Okay. Well, uh, I don't see any further questions that we can answer. Oh, and uh, I assume you'll have the link to the slides when we uh, post this? Yeah, probably. Okay, great. Well, yeah. can I hand this back to you for, for closing this out? I'm not sure where how to. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Yeah, I stopped the share. Yeah. yeah. So thanks to everyone who joined the meetup. Again, uh, after the recording, uh, you're welcome to stay online so we can uh, discuss uh, more questions and topics of the record. And uh, if you want to share any feedback with uh, the speaker or with the organizers, we ask you to fill in uh, the feedback form. I'll uh, post the link again. Or you can just uh, stay online so that uh, we keep talking about that. Uh, meanwhile, hey, uh, thanks to iTunes for the great presentation. And personally, I'm looking forward to see this uh, plugin in production as well. Uh, well, personally, I'm a big fan of Groove uh, VDSL, but at the same time, I think that having a YAML option is a great addition to the pipeline ecosystem and to the Jenkins project in general. So thanks a lot for your hard work on this topic. Thanks. And again, we will appreciate any feedback so try out the plugin. If you hit something, submit the issues, join the chats and share the feedback because yeah, any contributions matter and good feedback is also a great contribution to the project. Yes, also it is important for us before going to the production version or like the uh, released version because we need to, we want to cover as much as possible from, from the community feedbacks. So please feel free to provide some feedback. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, thanks all. And see you at the next meetup. Uh, yeah. uh, we are planning to announce a meetup uh, to the beginning of 
almost uh, later this week. So stay tuned for the announcements. And of course, the Thanks. video will be published soon. Okay. Thanks all. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>